Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, for strokes, heart attacks, and conditions in their bodies, the respiratory system. Oh, Lord, we know you're able, Lord, and we believe that you will. Send forth your healing power. Grant it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, those who have been discouraged, uh, encourage them, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Bless every family that's represented here right now. Uh, all the ministers and all the loved ones, Lord, and all the children, Lord. Those that have been baptized in Jesus' name and need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, the backslidden, Lord Jesus. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, have your way right now. Move in a special way, Lord. Uh, the unspoken request is uh, those that are upon our hearts, Lord, that we've been praying and praying for. Uh, answer our prayer, Lord Jesus. Uh, we know you supply every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And we stand on that and we believe that. And we're waiting on you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Grant it, dear Father. Walk through this place today, Lord. Send your word. Encourage our hearts. Help us to understand and grab a hold of your word and hold it fast. It will be steadfast and unmovable, ever abounding in your word, in your will, and in your way. Now bless our pastor, Lord, as he brings forth your word. Let it be seasoned, Lord Jesus, and let us gladly receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me turn this mic down a little bit. Usually I'm trying to turn it up. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Certainly we thank the Lord. Amen. For this day. Amen. We thank the Lord for answered prayer. Amen. Our God, he answers prayer. Thank you for the prayers of the saints. We're feeling um, much better. Uh, someone asked me if I was feeling 100%. And uh, I'd, I'd have to say uh, 95, oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> because there's still some lingering, amen, chest congestion. But uh, we thank God that um, we're going we're gonna to work the rest of it out, All right. yes. amen, because I'm just, I'm just afraid that if I stay uh, stationary, I may be stationary for a little while, mm -hmm. amen, and that's not good. Um, for what uh, the call is that I need to attend to, Amen. Not just the church, but Amen. I got a, I got a home. I got a family. I got things I got to do, Amen. Uh, I said this too. I said to one person, I said, you know, uh, just like anything else, uh, back in the day, Amen. And you, you can count it as foolishness. Uh, or whatever, but I was diligent in getting high. And so there was nothing that could keep me from getting high. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I got things to do. Amen. So uh, they're much more important because if I should uh, die, let me die. Where? In the army of the Lord. Let me be found doing what I need to be doing. Amen. But I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Thank Amen. You. Thank you. Your prayers uh, are making me feel like uh, David. Amen. I, you would say like Goliath because he's the giant, but David is a giant slayer. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah, sure. And so we are grateful to the Lord uh, for the energy. Amen. That he gives us in the healings. Yeah. And uh, as we know, the 10 lepers, amen. Uh, the first, the one that came back, he realized he was healed immediately. Amen. Yes. And the others, amen, he, he, they didn't realize they had the same healing. Uh, but God was healing them as they went. But it was already done when the word was spoken. 
Mm-hmm. So we, we're just uh, moving in the word of God. Amen. And so we give thanks to the Lord. Amen. We give thanks to him. Amen. And at the mention of his name, for he is worthy of all praise. Amen. 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 The Lord is worthy of all praise. Amen. And so we want to um, go to the book of St. Matthew. I believe I want to go to. I did some updating. It might, let me double check. Hmm. Uh, St. Matthew. Chapter 10. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I want to begin at verse number five. And verse number five says, these twelve sent these twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them saying go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel Mm -hmm. and as ye go Preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses nor scrip for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, And what I want to pull from this uh, assignment that Jesus gives to his disciples uh, after he chooses 12 of them uh, and they walk with him and they're on the job training and you know sometimes on the job training um, is a good opportunity to learn a person not just learn the job but learn about a person Mm -hmm. Um, and for the scripture tells us to do what? Know them that labor among you. Uh, you get that um, as you are um, together in the work by impartation. Um, not just training to do something, but Jesus wasn't training them to do something. He was imparting to them Himself, right. He was pouring out of himself into them. Not so that they could be trained for a job, but that they could continue a mission. Mm-hmm. When we look at trainings, then we oftentimes consider we're being prepared to do a job. Um, and not to accentuate an individual. But the disciples were to accentuate Christ. As he says in St. John chapter 14, in verse 12, he says, "Uh, the works that I do Mm -hmm. shall ye do. 
and greater works than these shall ye do, because I go to my Father. Mm -hmm. So not just being prepared for a job or being trained for a job, but to actually be an extension of Christ. And so he takes these ten, and in verse 1 it says that he gave them power. He gave them power. Uh, and we see it again, some clean spirits to cast them out to heal all manner of sickness uh, and all manner of disease. We also read in Acts chapter number 1, uh, that we also, the body of Christ, have been given power. Mm -hmm. uh, and Acts 1 and 8 says, uh, and you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Somebody say giving, giving, giving. Giving, giving, giving. giving is the heart of God. Not only has he given to us the Holy Ghost, but he has given us power, authority, Thank you. privilege. He has gifted us with ability to extend himself in the earth. Mm -hmm. The church is the extension of Christ and Christ's work. Amen. And so in this particular chapter, he gives these 12 men that he chooses. And they are considered the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. In which the church, amen, has been continued from the beginning of Christ. Mm -hmm. Matthew 16 says um, regarding Jesus, he says um, uh, to Peter that thou art Peter mm -hmm. and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. Okay, Luke continues the writing or it is considered an extension of Luke in Acts chapter 1 where Luke speaks to Theophilus, uh, one that is um, of some preeminence in their community and he says, these things are that which Christ began both to do and to, to teach and to do. Uh, and so that's what the apostles were prepared for when they were with Christ. And now through their writings, through their experiences, we now are called to accentuate the same abilities, the same gifts, the same power. Mm -hmm. And it stems with giving. Giving, giving, giving. I was going to come another way, uh, but I'm, I'm going in another direction right now uh, because I'm thankful. Anybody else in here thankful? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just thankful. Yeah. Uh, do I have the whole world like Scarface? <laughs> Am I even on top of the world? But yet I'm thankful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so I'm still going to be dealing with giving because I believe that giving is the heart of thankfulness. Mm-hmm. The heart of thankfulness, giving, is the heart of thankfulness. Now you can write this, I don't know if we're going to get to it, 
But write these chapters down. James chapter 4. We may get to it. James chapter 4. Um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 16 through 18. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. First Timothy chapter 4. First Timothy chapter 4. Verses 1 through 3. That's James 4, 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 through 18. 1 Timothy 4, verses 1 through 3. Giving is the heart of, thanks, of thankfulness. Um, a word today in, in this portion of time, uh, I believe, is to serve as an admonition uh, and an exhortation for the people of God to know and to take advantage of a season for thankfulness with Thanksgiving. Now you say, well, that's this month. Yes, isn't it appropriate? All right. mm -hmm. Amen. And so we are admonished, we are urged, uh, we are, if you will, clean with and adjuring one to recognize the season that we're in. Not just because it's on the calendar, but how many know every day is a season for thankfulness? Amen. Amen. Thankfulness. Amen. Uh, with thanksgiving. You know, people can be thankful, but not render thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. If you're thankful, then it will be expressed in giving. Mm -hmm. Thankfulness, thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you and give. Mm -hmm. Amen. A word to exhort you or encourage the saints to be intentional in our giving, our giving of thanks. A word of admonition, an exhortation, and a season for thankfulness with thanksgiving. Give. Somebody shout give. Yeah. Uh, isn't it something to, and we'll go to this, the holidays. Uh, thanksgiving is right before Christmas. Hmm. We can't wait till Christmas come, but most times we ain't giving thanks for what we already have. Mm -hmm. Because we're ready to be out with the old and in with the new. Mm -hmm. Sound like people? All right. Amen. But to understand and to benefit from thankfulness is to understand that I have to give. To give is out of a heart of gratitude, thankfulness. Uh, 
Look at the woman who went to the publican's house, or Simon the Tanner, went to his house and Jesus was there. And she came in and began to wash his feet with her tears, mm -hmm. to dry his feet with her hair. And Simon and everybody else was tripping like, see, this is a great waste. No, Jesus said, this is what she has done, in essence, is showing that she is thankful mm -hmm. because she's giving out of her thanks her wealth. They were looking at the wealth of the oil in one passage, the alabaster box. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was looking at what? The preparation or the what? Heart. Because if she didn't have such an expensive oil set to the side and just came with a bottle of cooking grease and gave it with her whole heart and used it to serve, to minister. God doesn't look at the outward appearance of man as we find in Samuel's writing, but he looks at the heart of man. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so we admonish and exhort you in, to consider the season uh, which is every day as a season for thankfulness with thanksgiving. And give. Uh, as expressions are found in other action words, as expressions are found in other action words, so is and should be found thankfulness to be an act word mm -hmm. which will produce or if you will express itself in what? Giving. <laughs> Amen. What are some of the other action words that have expressions to them? Love. Love is an action word that has an expression. There's something that takes place, not just is said or is written, I love you, but there is expression of love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Okay. And so we find then, not only is love for what God so loved the world, St. John 3.16, that he did what? He gave. Do you think God is thankful? <laughs> huh? Do you think our God is thankful? <laughs> yeah, he's thankful. <laughs> he's thankful he's God. Amen. And there's none beside him. I'm sure he's glad of that. <laughs> Aren't you glad that I'm not God? <laughs> and I'm so glad you're not God. So I know he's glad he is God. He's thankful. And out of his thankfulness, he gives thanks in his giving. That's why the people of God are blessed. Because he's thankful that we're keeping up his name. Thankful that we're keeping up his standard of living. And so he blesses us. He gives to us. Thank you. Huh. We also see it in the word faith. Faith is an action word by expression. It's not just to have faith, but faith is a work. Mm -hmm. It's not just a belief system, but it is actually a life system which fits right with who our God is. He's a God who operates in order. Mm -hmm. And in 
order for things to go smoothly, synchronized as a unit, then there must be a system. God has ordered systems in the earth to give out of his thankfulness of all he has created so that everything he has can recreated can work together for good. Mm -hmm. That those it's working together for good can say what? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, if it's working together for your good, you ought to want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so how do you say thank you? Do you just say thank you and keep it on moving? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. No, but somewhere along the way, it ought to be a measurable amount of giving. Reaping and sowing is a system, principle. Whatsoever man sow it, that shall he also reap. If he sows bountifully, receive or reap bountifully. Mm -hmm. And if he sows sparingly, mm -hmm. a system, a principle. And so, mm, if I can put this in here real quick, because this ain't about the money. But let me put it here real quick. We are to pay our tithe mm -hmm. because we owe God right. mm -hmm. for the earth, Psalms 24 and 1, is the Lord's and the fullness thereof yes. and they that dwell therein. So the tithe is a 10% that we owe God. Mm -hmm. And if we borrow from it or use it, then we got to give an extra 5%. Mm -hmm. That's 10% plus 5%. Mm -hmm. And what? Try me and prove me and see won't I open the windows of heaven. But what will get him to pour out of those windows? Absolutely. Giving. <laughs> and where do we see giving? Tithe and offerings. Amen. The tithe will open up the windows. The offerings will pour out a blessing. Mm -hmm. You don't get blessed because you give your or you pay your tithe. That ain't why you get blessed. You owe God that. Mm -hmm. But you get blessed when you give above your tithe. Amen. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, Romans 12 and 1, by the mercies of God that ye present your body living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. God. Boom. Which is your reasonable, reasonable service. Amen. So if we have a thankful heart and it is measured by our thanks in giving then when we do these things to present ourselves before God as living sacrifice, that's good. You were created to do that. Mm -hmm. That's our responsible thing. But then when, we, when our neighbor asks us to go one mile, Jesus said to go what? Twain. Now we're going beyond the reasonable service. So we want to see the blessing of God. Then we have to be willing to what? 
have a thankful heart. Thank you. And a thankful heart says, I haven't done enough. Mm -hmm. hmm. I haven't done enough. You know, we hear it at Christmas time. The gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> uh huh. Do we have that gift? Then I ain't doing enough. I need to do more. I can do more. I ain't say kill yourself, overload, but the bare necessities is what we find ourselves doing anymore. Mm -hmm. The world has picked it up and phrased it quiet quitting. <laughs> doing the bare necessity just enough because I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to even do this. But when there is a heart of thankfulness, then it is expressed in our giving. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder what? Of those or them that diligently seek him. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. God steady giving. And we steady applying ourselves. But then he says in Matthew 10, freely ye have received, mm -hmm. freely give. Mm -hmm. Giving the heart of thankfulness. Giving in its essence, is to carry out God's total plan to provide for all of humankind's need as well as the earth and all his creation until the day of Jesus. Giving, 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 giving. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God. And so we see in that beginning that God's provision comes by his ordination. Mm -hmm. God's provision comes by his ordination of life and kingdom. So I'm going to back up so make sure you got giving. Giving, in its essence, is to carry out God's total plan to provide. Amen. Giving. The essence of God's purpose to carry out his total plan to provide for all humankind. All of your need. Philippians 4 and 19 says, But my God shall supply all your need. Not plural. The greatest need man has is a right relationship with God. Amen. And once he receives that right relationship with God and in Christ, then every one of his needs are met. Mm -hmm. How many in here need some? Well, think about it. It'll be so quick. 
Is it a need or is it a want? Because God don't always give you what you want. But his word instinctively and distinctively lets you know he will supply your need. Amen. Seek ye first, St. Mm-hmm. Matthew 6.33, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Mm-hmm. And all these things, all these other needs shall be added unto you. Amen. But if we follow the scriptures as we are still in the kingdom of God and following after his righteousness, we find in the letters to the church written to Timothy by the apostle Paul. He tells him, son of man, set not your heart upon these things. What things? There will be many that will be rich that will fall into divers temptations. Mm -hmm. But he says, Timothy, keep yourself. Man of God, stay clear of these things. Don't set your heart on these things. Because the world is fleeting. And so we get tight when things ain't right. Mm -hmm. Especially when money ain't right. But when we know why, why we're thankful and we know who we are and we're thankful for that, then no matter how tight things are, we still can't help but to express our thankfulness by what? Thanksgiving. Giving with thanks. Because we know what? That the God that owns a thousand hills, owns a cattle upon a thousand hills, he's our God. Not only does he own the cattle, he owns the hills. Mm -hmm. So giving, in its essence, is to carry out God's total plan to provide for all the humankind's need, especially his salvation. As well as the earth's and all of his creation unto the day of Jesus Christ. Genesis chapter 1, uh, Philippians chapter 4. Verse 10 through 23, as we came out, uh, Paul, he's dealing with money, but he's also talking about them going beyond their meeting his uh, need for finances or to take care of him while he was on his missionary journey. But because of their love, their showing or giving of love and concern. Those things, those graces that were within them that really made them more wealthy than everything they had. They gave out of their natural hurt. But it was only because they had an inward wealth. Have you ever gave when you hurt? It hurt to give. But yet you was able to shout as you gave it because you knew not only was that gift working but the gift that moved you to give the gift was working even more thank you Jesus how thankful are we because if we're thankful we'll give out of our hurt we'll give out our hurt not just natural things all right But whatever it will take for what? The plan of God to be made possible in one's life. And that's what they did. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches. Whose riches do you have? They used to sing the song, you can have. This whole world. But I'll take Jesus for mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. A thankful heart still says. You can have it all. 
but I'll take Jesus for mine. Thank you. Because when it comes to giving, I'm going to give all of my heart's desire. Because my giving is not so elder can say, oh, wow, did you see how much Elder Morris gave? Oh, did you see what he did? Did you see? No. Our giving is because we're thankful for what God did. Did you see what God did? He delivered me. Did you see what God did? He saved my soul. Did you see what God did? He made me whole. It ain't about what I'm doing. It's what he did. But when you do it to the next person, then they see God in you. And now we have a testimony from them. The Lord is good. Because he what? He made a way. He made a way. He made a way. Just for me. Somebody said just for me. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches or abundance of external possessions. Mm -hmm. We got to remember who we're talking about. God owns everything. And he is the giver of all, all character. He is the giver of all grace. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches, abundance of external possessions, according to his riches, fullness, his fullness, according to his riches, his plentitude. He has a whole lot. His riches according to his good or Things or that which is good. Everything that's good comes out of God because only God is good. He's only good when that's what Jesus said. He called me master. Good master. So the only one good is God. Only one good. All right. So we see then. That he gives, he supplies to our need according to his abundance in glory by Christ Jesus. What, what are some of the things he's given as we consider Genesis chapter 1? All right. He provides for life through systems, ways and means to give support. Uh, to preserve, to spread, and to enable and to maintain life itself. God's provision is for these reasons. So he sets up the system. What system does he set up? Somebody say the solar system. Did we see it in Genesis? All right. When he put the stars for light. All right. The sun, all right, the solar system. Uh, what about the, the plant? Didn't he do the planting of the herbs? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So he, he has another system at work to give or provide mm -hmm. for life. And that's the ecosystem, right? Yeah. Okay. And the what? Ooh, thank God. I'm still a little touched in here, but uh, my respiratory system. Mm -hmm. If it's down, it's, boy, that's, that's terrible. You ever felt like you couldn't breathe? Uh-huh. Because your chest was congested in the vascular system. We need our blood flowing, don't we? Yes. I got, that reminds me to get back to my stretching. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The digestive system. Mm -hmm. We can't eat everything we used to eat. Because there's a system at work. Mm -hmm. And it goes through its changes. Amen. And we have to what? We have to work according to that system. The nervous system. The reproductive system. All of these things God has given to us to carry out 
his plan of life for humankind and all of his creation. So, giving, as I said, I, I believe is the heart of thankfulness. Mm -hmm. uh, thankfulness. What is giving? What is thankfulness? And what is thanksgiving? Giving speaks of being charitable. Being charitable. Yeah. What key word is in charitable? Charity. charity. What does charity mean? Love. love. And it is a special love. It is akin to agape or agape. Unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, and then you have the charitable giving uh, that's called what? Philanthropic. Um, and those who give, like 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, when it speaks of giving, it speaks of that love, that charity. Okay? Now, when we see that uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, I know I, I didn't have y'all flipping through the pages as much today. Today. But he says, though I speak with the tongues of angels mm -hmm. All right, though I speak with the tongues of angels and of, of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Mm -hmm. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Verse 3, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, mm -hmm. And though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Tied in an offering, giving. Thankfulness, thanksgiving. Love, is an action word that is measured by what it does. So is thankfulness. Mm -hmm. If we're thankful, it's going to show in our giving financially as well as how we entreat God and one another. Thank you. That includes our enemies. Amen. Amen. All right. I don't get too many amen, but that's all right. Giving that speaks of charitableness. Uh, it speaks of being generous. Giving. Generous. Generosity. Benevolent. Benevolence. Giving speaks of imparting. Don't you know we're supposed to impart one to another? Yeah. We are to impart one to another. Scripture says what? Give. Mm -hmm. and, it shall be. and it shall be given back to you. Reciprocal. Giving should be reciprocal because each heart that receives ought to be having a heart of what? Gratitude. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to reciprocate it to the same one that gave it to me but what? They call it what? Pay it forward. Mm -hmm. But it's a part of the reciprocation of giving. Okay? So give and it shall be given back to you. Press down, shaken together, running over shall men give into your bosom. So why do we tighten up? Because when we give, when it's given to us and we give, 
then it's going to reciprocate back to you again. Mm -hmm. And it all is stemming from God's thankfulness that what he gave you, you gave to someone else. This gospel that we preach, this gospel that we live, this gospel that we love, we ought to be so thankful for it that we're willing to share it or to give it every day, everywhere we are. Amen. Whatever opportunity arises, even if there is no opportunity, we ought to make the importune gesture mm -hmm. that somebody should know Jesus. You know Jesus? He brought me out. Because we get in situations, it's it just open for your testimony. And I ain't going to say nothing because they're they going to think I'm crazy. They, they think you're crazy anyway. Because your lips probably moving while you're over there talking to yourself in the first place. <laughs> Hallelujah. But take the chance, take the opportunity to give what was given to you. Because of being thankful. And I want to impart something that will benefit your life. Giving speaks of devotion. It speaks of devotion. How devoted are we? Not devoted in our giving, but we're giving because we are devoted to the one who has given to us. Yeah. Thankfulness. Giving is the heart of thankfulness. Hmm, I'm going to have to watch this when I get done. Giving speaks of dedication. Now see, some people say, well see, I got everything I got because I tithe. No, you got everything you got. Possibly not only because you tithe, but you have good money management skills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody really thought about that because there are those who give just as well as the next person but don't have the skill set to manage their finances. True. The blessing comes from what? Giving. Mm -hmm. The offering. Giving the above and beyond. Okay? All right, all right. It's giving, it deals with sacrificing. It speaks of doing. Giving is doing. Doing what's right. Okay? James talks about to he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not. To him it is sin. Right. Giving is what's right. Doing what's right. Giving is doing. And if we don't give, then what? We know we should give because we are giving because we're thankful, should be thankful. Mm -hmm. And not only giving of our carnal substance, but giving of the graces that God has provided to us to extend to someone else. And when we don't, to him it is sin. Not only seeing a brother that has a need and doing nothing for it, that means your heart wasn't compassionate. Not so much that you just didn't give it, but where was your compassion? And that's a gift that God has given us, compassion. That's a grace. Uh, and then on the negative end, giving speaks of collapsing. To give way. To breaking or snapping. Don't let, your, don't let your giving snap. <laughs> don't let your giving collapse because it could be a calamity. Amen. Thankfulness, gratitude, gratefulness, appreciation, understanding, acknowledgement. Thankfulness is a response. 
and it deals with recognition. I recognize from whom my blessings come from. So, Lord, I, I, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, and I'm willing to give. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. And then I'm, I'm closing. Knowledge without practice. I like this. I wrote this in. Knowledge without practice is imputed to a man as a great and presumptuous sin. Thanksgiving blessing, a dedication, a prayer, an entreaty, a thought. When I fail to do what I know that is right, when I think about how good God has been to me and all he's done for me, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, mm -hmm. contemplation, Speaks of thanksgiving. When you when you thanks, give. It's because you have fought on the goodness of the Lord that has checked your heart. So your mind and your heart ought to agree that what? God has been good. Freely I have received. Freely give. Freely give. Amen. They don't say, we, we told them in, in Acts chapter 6, they came and they laid it all at the apostles' feet. They were grateful. Yeah. They, wanted to, they wanted the service to keep on going. Because mm -hmm. remember, they had assembled themselves according to the feast. And that was several days long. But the day of Pentecost came, and that thing extended longer than that. They didn't want to leave. Like Azusa Street. They didn't want to leave. Something great was happening. So in order for them to stay longer, of course, they were still under the, 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 the mindset of the law. They wanted to make sure they had enough sacrifices. So they began to give one to another so they all had things in common. Not that I'm giving you all my stuff, but just enough so you can have something to benefit in the worship. Mm -hmm. And that was Sapphira's in their heart. They was thinking, oh, they we're gonna give them all our stuff, and they're gonna give it to all these pro these these pro broke folk. <laughs> that ain't what they that ain't what he had to do. Wasn't it yours? Mm -hmm. Then you could have gave them how much you wanted. You didn't have to lie to, to the Holy Ghost. He said, you had to lie to me. You lied to the Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord. I, shall a man rob God? <laughs> yeah, you have robbed me of my what? Tithe and offering. Your heart ain't right. You ain't only shucking what you owe me. But you ain't, you shucking what you have to give. You ain't thankful. Mm -hmm. So because we are thankful and, before, and because we are grateful, then we want to show love. Didn't you freely receive love? Amen. Then you ought to freely give it. Yeah. Favor, patience. God show anybody any patience? Yeah. So then when he calls for us to be long <laughs> suffering, Freely ye have received, freely give. Why? Because I'm thankful. I'm willing to be long-suffering toward my sister, my brother, because God has been long-suffering toward me. He's still suffering long. <laughs> In some cases. But his love never fails. For this, I am eternally thankful. And for this, the measure of my thankfulness will be seen in my thanksgiving. Amen. I'm done. I'm going to stop right there. Amen. 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 Come on and give the Lord a hand praise today. We thank him and we praise and magnify him. 
for his great kindness to us. Amen. Uh, we want to um, remember Sister Dolores Franks uh, and uh, um, her family, um, Deacon Franks, and uh, her sister, her youngest sister, um, has gone on um, from this life to that eternal. And so we want to remember Sister Dolores uh, Franks in prayer. Amen. It was so great to see her uh, the past couple Sundays and then affliction to her body and now uh, the attack um, uh, of the loss of her sister. So uh, lift her up in prayer that the Lord would strengthen her and encourage her. Yes, uh, Evangelist Nicholson. Uh, yes, remember uh, Sister Janita Robinson yes. who lost her brother. Nephew. Uh, yes, we want to remember uh, the hot, the Kelly family, Perry Kelly family, uh, in the loss of his son, uh, Perry, uh, which is, as Evangelist Nicholson said, um, Sister Geneva and uh, Sister Mary Jane's nephew. So we want to remember these families in prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, and all other uh, spoken that went forth and those that have not yet been heard, we want to continue to lift them up in prayer. Continue to keep Sister Rachel, um, Sister uh, Evangelist Perry's daughter, in prayer as they are weaning her, amen, um, from some of the apparatus that the Lord has given men wisdom uh, to use in his healing process. Amen. Amen. God is able. Yes, he is. And like he uses the preacher, he could preach himself. He didn't have to put his word in us to use us as a conduit. And so he does the same with physicians. We just have to pray more for most of them because most of them may not know the Lord or think they are the Lord. Amen. So we pray for them and give thanks. Yes, um, Sister uh, Bledsoe. <laughs> okay. Jen, all right. I want to remember Sister Jen in prayer. Amen. It's good, good uh, opportunity. Amen. Uh, of evangelism. Amen. Mine, mine. I was wondering when there was going to be, you know, but uh, through it all, God saved. Amen. So, uh, if we got the get the other one to come in and amen come on and I'm, I'm gonna fuss mm -hmm. but I learned if you don't fuss it might happen quicker <laughs> amen amen come on and give the Lord a hand praise today amen amen um, certainly amen uh, if there's anyone that desires uh, to know the Lord you can give us a call 330 Four five six zero six two six, or my cell three three zero three zero nine three zero six zero. That is the church lines, amen. For salvation, now don't just be calling me just to be calling me, amen. No, you're welcome to call me. I love you. All right, it is offering time, amen, amen. We will get out of here. Yes, yes, yes. Got to go. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen my afro, but it's time to get it cut down. <laughs> Amen. Huh? You don't think? Yeah, time to get it cut down. It's 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 kind of getting out there. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> God bless you. If you wish to give, go to our cash app. Amen. Greater Bethel. Dollar sign Greater Bethel. Uh, Canton. Yeah. Dollar sign Greater Bethel Canton for our cash app. Or our um, online website. GreaterBethel.org. God bless you.